I, I just want to echo the, the sentiments of the organization, the players, the, the, everybody in, in, in our family and, and the baseball world. Um, you know, we, we work in a, uh, uh, on a profession that you know, seems like most of the time you don't have your, your loved ones around. And, uh, and, and you, know, you spend so much time with, with other people and people that you, know, you start to you know, carry about and, and most of you guys you know, start, start loving people. You guys spend so much time with Nick, and we spend so much time with the players and all that. And it puts everything in perspective. You know, I was sitting at home yesterday, just you know, thinking about what just happened. You know, it is, it's one of those that, as you guys know, you guys know my my, my, my story and and all that. And uh, I, you know, I, I start looking at life a lot, a lot different in the last five or six years, and. Uh, there was an article that Nick wrote about my dad in around Father's Day, and I pulled it out yesterday. And you know, he did a good job, like he always did. And uh, it, it just, it's life, man. And I, I know how we how we feel. I know we we we're gonna miss him. I know he uh, he was a he was a great man. And then you start reading social media and, and what people wrote about Nick, how you guys feel about him. And, not only the people from Boston, but from all over, uh, all over the state, or you know, people from the industry. It, it was amazing, you know, like the respect, the love um, that that people had to, had for him. And uh, it's a thing about life, and it's like, you know what? That's the way it should be, I guess. You know, when when you make an impact in life, and obviously Nick impacted all of us. All of us, uh, very respected class. Uh, in my case, very fair. Um, you know, like, he, he he was great. He was great. And uh, to read everything that 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 people you know in, in social media put in and and, and the love and and, and this you know is it, amazing. He was a great man. Um, he'll be missed. Um, you know. His family, you know, my, my, I feel so bad because that's where you go. Like, you know, I'm in my house, I'm by myself, the kids at home, you never know, you never know, you know. And, 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 and you start missing them and, you know, for his wife, his daughter, Ben, you know, he, you know, I had the opportunity to work with Ben in ESPN and, and what he brings, you know, the energy and the, the passion that he brings to the job, you know, I, I was like, wow, this is unreal. And uh, nothing, man. It's just, I just address the players. Uh, it's funny because he was actually the guy that got on me with the off days. I didn't know why, you know, like whenever I gave, you know, I remember Mookie Betts off day the sixth day and he's like, why? <laughs> you know, and then Hanley in Oakland and he's like, why? And then yesterday I realized that it was an off day for him and he showed up. You know, I'm like, that's why he got on. You know, like he never took it off there, and he, he didn't understand that part. He did, but he didn't. And you start appreciating that, and, and you know, I, like I tell you guys, man, uh, something about this, something about losing a loved one, I, I, I hated life for a while. You know, I was so upset at life, and, and something changed six, seven years ago, and instead of looking at my loss, you know, like, oh, how can that happen to me? It was the other way around. I had him for 12 years, 13 years. And I started thinking all the cool things that, that my dad did for me and, and, and for, for Joey and my two sisters and my mom. And, and I, I started thinking about Nick. And that's my message to you guys, honestly. And this is not the manager, this is Alex or the me. It's just me, you know, let's actually celebrate his life. I told the guys, you know, just go out there and have a great day. You know, we hate off days anyways, but uh, let's let's have a blast on the field. Let's go out there. He loved the game, you know. Um, I think he was the only one, only guy that in game three, he, he loved that game, you know. You would have I think Pete was, yeah. <laughs> but I loved it for a little bit, but uh, I think Pete was the one that, you know, he said, uh, he turned around and was like, this is awesome. 
think about it. But uh, that's all I got for you guys, man. Um, that's why I don't get caught up on the whole game. And, and the, the, it's just a game, bro. You know, like when when you leave, that's real. Life is real. You know, everything that have to you have to do as a parent, as a husband, you know, as a as a son. You know, that that's real. It's just a game, man. We get caught up on the whole wins and losses and rivalries and whatever, you know, and life is real, man, and he's going to be missed, obviously, he's not going to be the same, we know that, I mean, um, I was thinking about it on the way here, and uh, I was thinking about you guys too, you know, and, and uh, from our end, we're here for you guys, I know there's a lot of people in the organization that, you know, Medical staff, they did an outstanding job yesterday. They were amazing. But you know, they're, they're in shock right now. And uh, we, we're going to miss them. We're going to miss them. But like I said, you know, um, let's, uh, let's celebrate his life. Uh, you guys keep doing the job you guys are doing. Um, you guys work on probably the, the market that, you know, they, they ask a lot from you guys, and you guys do an outstanding job doing it. Nick did it the same way, and uh, like I said, the guys, hey, let's go get them. Keep going. We're here for you guys. You know, I know sometimes we don't agree on everything, but uh, like I said, you know, it's a three-hour game, four-hour game. But, uh, after that, we just hear uh, real human beings. But from my end, hey, um, you know, my condolences. Um, you know, he's gonna be missed, but uh, let's keep going. Okay.